Hey guys, what's up? Hey, G for T. And I'm going to start doing more of my videos here on George for Blogging. I hope some of the people over there get the message, but I'm, I'm probably putting out one or two videos out there and then my daily vlogs here on, on George for Blogging. And I have an article that I'm going to go over, and I'm also going to talk about kind of what I see, what's happening here in Southern California, kind of the disconnect that people are starting to feel between what their past lives were and how they need to operate in the future and how they're not really being able to process that. So I'll get to that at the end. And I'll just go over step by step some of the um, topics in the article with some commentary. Number one, the average interest rate on a 30 year mortgage has risen above 4% for the first time in more than a year. So interest rates are going up. That is a major sign that real estate prices will start to finally come down. I mean, in the Los Angeles market, we're seeing this trajectory on prices. Everybody is, is getting into the investor market because interest rates are so low. People can buy houses for 400, 500, 600,000 and they're able to rent them out and have positive cash flow. I, I really think we're seeing a lot of investors that are the new investors and they're going to get burned on, on the equity. But I guess as long as they can have positive cash flow, people are just having a disconnect between the price of real estate and what, what they think they can get on a monthly basis. The decline in the number of mortgage applications last week was the largest drop that we have seen since uh, June of 2009. There's mortgage uh, companies that are reporting mass layoffs. Whenever you want to see what's going to happen in the future with real estate, uh, you just talk to people in the industry. So if people are being laid off at the mortgage companies, the escrow companies, the title companies, my background, you can guarantee that they're trying to get ahead of a downturn. Number four, it was just announced that average hourly compensation in the United States experienced its largest drop since 2009 during the first quarter of 2013. This is, these are like the 66,000 jobs that were la added last uh, month, and then the 200 and something thousand that, uh, of people that dropped off. So there's so many people dropping out of the um, job roles, and then the people that are starting to work are really starting to take the 10, 11, to $12 an hour jobs, sometimes minimum wage jobs, these are people in their 30s and 40s that were working for you know $20 an hour. So it's I think people are starting to get the understanding that the job growth really isn't job growth at all in the um, first world countries. What you're seeing is um, the unemployed uh, settling for part-time contract work at very very low pay just to get by and pay the bills. Um, Institute for Supply and Management Manufacturing Index declined to 49. Any reading below 50 it indicates a contraction. Inventory to sales ratios hit a level not seen since 2009. According to the Commerce Department, the demand for computers dropped by a steady 9%. Um, people just don't have the money. Uh, people don't have the money to um, purchase these um, expensive items um, as far as electronic components go. And uh, computers, what I'm hearing is a lot, is um, kids, instead of buying laptops or computers, they're just buying phones, and people are accessing the internet, um, the cloud, social media via the phone. So it's like the phone is taking over the laptop, the desktop. And uh, those you can get sometimes used. You know, if your parents are going onto a new plan and get a new phone, they're going to give that to the kids instead of buying them a laptop. I've heard that from multiple used laptop dealers. A previous article, corporate revenues are falling at Walmart, Procter & Gamble, Starbucks, AT&T, Safeway, American Express, IBM. We know a lot of big investors and billionaires are pulling out of the consumer stocks. I think Warren Buffett pulled a, a a bunch of money out of uh, Johnson & Johnson. So these are just the, the basic consumer type companies that are going to take a hit. And uh, it's hard to see it with where the stock market is going, but um, I've been reading articles uh, that are basically saying that the, the run-up in the stocks is really um, the Fed. And even the Fed itself has admitted that they are being able to, they're not being able to turn the dials on this economy that the, what is it, 80 billion a month that they're pumping into the, the economy or printing of money um, just won't have the same effect. And I think what's going to happen is they're going to raise interest rates, they're going to find ways to go through a, a contraction rather than hyperinflation because, you know, if we're going to face another second Great Depression, which I think we're at the beginnings of in Southern Europe is experiencing a Great Depression, They'd rather go through a, a, a contraction depression than just, you know, hyperinflation is just the end, end of everything. I mean, it's, it's the thing you don't want to see happen. So I think what's happening is the Fed's just coming to a realization that they're going to have to contract this economy. It's going to be like a triple dip recession. That's what they're calling it in, in the UK. Job growth at small businesses now at about half the level. You know, why, 
why would job why would small businesses hire? My my sister had thirty five employees at her uh, at her swim company. She was training kids. She took it down to twenty because she says all the requirements. You know, it's just a, a, all the requirements by the government on small business owners, and it favors the big big companies because they're able to subcontract that out or have entire departments take care of that. But you know, where's the hit? It hits the small companies that can't afford. I mean, she did all her, all her payroll. Um, I, I'm hearing this again and again. People that had you know, mid-sized companies, small-sized companies are just saying, you know what, it's just better if I just go alone. It, it doesn't make sense. It's too much headache, too much hassle, and too much uh, government intrusion. The stock market is starting to understand all these numbers indicate the U.S. economy is really starting to slow. The Dow was down 216.94 points on Wednesday, dropped below 15,000 for the first time May 6th. The S&P 500 has fallen more than 4%. Japanese stocks are now down about 70% from the peak. Japan, third largest economy on the planet, is now one of the most trading partners. Um, just leave it at that. Um, yeah, I've been hearing all sorts of things. Be, I, this whole week, I've just been totally. Re China's in trouble. Japan's in trouble. Even the the Asia uh, Asian economies are starting to feel it. The uh, stimulus that China had in 2009, where they just floated all this money out into the uh, the economy, is now coming back to bite them in the ass. Where they have you know entire cities built out, but no one's living in them. Um, all these things will start happening in China. Where if China slows down, that'll affect all of Asia and uh, Europe. It's already a foregone conclu conclusion. Major, major Great Depression in the southern European countries. Uh, France hanging on by a thread. Uh, UK. It's like I think all we have to do is really look at the Europe. What's happening with them to see what will happen here in the U.S. Um, then, real quick, I'll just comment on what I've seen around. Um, you know. There are people that aren't affected by the, um, the the economy. Sure, there's people that are working, and they're making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. There's two income households, and they're feeling fine and feeling great. If you happen to be in the right industry, but what you're going to see is as we see the the bond uh, implosion, um, you're going to see uh, a whole new layoff layoffs that happen in the public sector as well as the private sector. So, <laughs> just when you think, man, it could it get any worse? Um, yeah, it can get it can get much worse. I mean, it's if you've been through the collapse the last couple of years, you've cut back to the bone. You know, I've gone from two cars to one car. I've I pay all cash for everything. I just bought a new van for two thousand dollars. Just got rid of my Toyota Sienna. Um, you know, we live we live um, month to month, and uh, when we run out of money, we don't spend it, and that's something I think. A lot of people in Southern California just haven't gotten. You know, you buy, you, you get your paycheck, you buy your needs, you pay for your bills, you pay for your expenditures, and then when you run out or you come down to where you are going to be digging into savings or digging into credit cards, people just don't understand to stop. I mean, that's our technique. We buy what we need to buy, we enjoy our lives, but then when we don't have money or when we have our money set aside in the savings account, we don't dip into that, we don't dip into the credit cards, and we just stop. I mean, Pearl has been really great about that. You know, we, we cook at home, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She just had a conversation with someone. It's just like always, we're broke, we're broke, we're broke. That's the common saying here in Southern California is we're broke with like tears in their eyes. And they can't um, literally, we're here and we have, we have friends that are having the lights turned out, the gas turned out. And, you know, it's like, it's just crazy stuff. You know, cars breaking down, and they, they're parking them in front of their car, they're in front of their houses, and then the city's coming around and giving them late uh, registration tickets and all sorts of things. It's just like, it's just piling on more and more and more, but people just haven't gotten it into their minds to reduce and get in the program. Literally, literally you have people with a cognitive um, disconnect where they've lived this past life of, Hey, we're going out to eat. We're going to, uh, you know, we're going to uh, Ruby's. We're going to El Torito. We're going out to get sushi. You know, we do this two or three, four times a week, and then we can't pay our gas bill. Our lights are shut off. But then you still see them buying the six pack of Modelo and uh, you know partying on the weekends. You know, going to their favorite concert. You know, taking road trips to Las Vegas to hang. It's like it's just like, dude, wow. It's like, man. I mean, literally, people are just not getting it. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it's going to take, um, but what, what we're seeing is is people are still not having those conversations, at least in my social circles. They're still not having those conversations of, hey, 
what does it mean to live in this new situation? It's more like people are trying to extend and extend and extend, dig into the credit cards, you know, commute two hours to work, even to an eight dollar an hour job where it doesn't make any sense financially. It's just people are still on that treadmill and they're not understanding, hey, I need to totally change direction. They're just they're not doing it. They're still kind of in the matrix, grabbing at straws. It's almost like um, you know what it's like? It's like someone is in quicksand and they're 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 <gasps> they're breathing like that and they're just they're reaching, they're reaching, they're reaching for anything. They're saying, hey, help, I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke, help me, help me. <sighs> and, you know, and maybe it's going to take for them to actually go under the quicksand and breathing in the mud, the sand, the dirt. <sighs> and then, you know, I don't know, it'll be like they just off themselves or something or get a heavy medication. You know, I don't know, maybe they're going to prison for robbing banks like one guy, you know. It's just like, it's not, for, for some people, they're getting it. They're getting the. They're getting the clues, and they're making the plans. But for many, 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 many people, they're just not getting it. They're. I don't know what it's going to take for them to get it. We're going to find out probably in the next couple of weeks, man. Because I'm telling you, I'm hearing stuff from my friends and family and extended uh, relatives, man. And it, they, it's on their last legs, man. Uh, so it'll be real interesting. I mean, people, you know what? It, it's manifesting itself with the breakup of the family. Because people literally do not know how to take care of their financial situation. They don't know how to pull themselves up from by the bootstraps. And what happens is the wife starts attacking the man. The man starts attacking the wife. The man leaves. There's a breakup of the family. They find out you know living apart is more difficult than they're coming back together. I mean, man, that's just the story here in Southern California, at least as far as a lot of people I know, is just total, total, you know, People just sort of losing their minds. It's like, wait a second, you know, I'm going to go have an affair. You know, I'm in economic straits. I'm just going to go sleep with a bunch of people and forget my children and my wife, you know. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe you guys can tell me what's going on. Anyways, guys, more videos here on George for Vlogging. i got to let the people know they're a George for Title. I'm probably going to put out maybe one or two videos a week over there, but most of my stuff is going to be here. God bless. Let me know what you guys are thinking. What are you feeling on the ground with the social stuff? You know, what are you hearing from people? Are they making the adjustments? Are people like getting a reality check? Or are you you feeling more what I'm I'm saying where people just don't get it, man. They're literally gonna have to be, you know, drowning in the mud up to the top of their head, not breathing for a while before they really wake up to reality. Peace out, guys. God bless, take care.